Hello, I'm Sabina Hassanova with the latest news in English on Asvision TV. Over the past 24 hours, Armenian armed forces have violated the ceasefire along the contact line between Azerbaijan and Armenian troops 79 times using heavy machine guns, reports the Minister of Defense of Azerbaijan. Meanwhile, the Armenian army has conducted military exercises in the occupied Azerbaijani territories. Defensive and offensive actions were played out during the military drills. Grossly violating the UN Charter and the Helsinki Final Act, Armenia occupied Azerbaijan's sovereign territory by using military force, says spokesperson for the Azerbaijan Foreign Ministry Hikmet Hajiev, while speaking of the comment by the Armenian Foreign Ministry about the military exercises planned to be held by the Azerbaijan Armed Forces. By continuing the occupation of Azerbaijan's territories and illegal military activity there, Armenia openly violates the fundamental principles of sovereignty, territorial integrity and development of armed forces in a country's territory with the consent of the host country. Under the OSCE Vienna document, those principles are a basis to strengthen confidence-building measures and security. Moreover, Armenia conceals a great part of its military potential by concentrating a big number of military equipment and personnel in the occupied territories of Azerbaijan. Azerbaijan took over the Black Sea Economic Cooperation Chairmanship at the 38th meeting of the BSEC Council of Foreign Ministers and will continue to chair the organization until December 2018. Maria Zakharova, spokesperson for the Minister of Foreign Affairs of Russia, spoke of Russia's support for Azerbaijan as the chair of the BSEC. Russia will contribute to the effective chairmanship of Azerbaijan in the Black Sea Economic Cooperation. For my part, I can wish the new chairmanship and the new chairing country success in the work. As Russia, we will ensure constructive contribution for the work to be really effective. Minister for Energy of Azerbaijan Pervis Shahbazov met with the U.S. Energy Secretary Rick Perry within the 27th World Gas Conference in Washington, D.C. Rick Perry said the U.S. will continue supporting Azerbaijan's global energy projects. Energy Minister in turn appreciated the position of the USA in Azerbaijan's integration to global energy plays. The implementation of projects by Azerbaijan increases its significance in the energy security system in terms of providing Europe's energy security and diversification of energy resources to Europe. Azerbaijan is at heart of the efforts to economically integrate Afghanistan into the region. U.S. Principal Deputy Assistant Secretary of State for South and Central Asia, Alice Wells, said at a briefing in Baku today. She added that everybody gathered in Baku to support the position of Afghan President Mohammad Ashraf Ghani to maintain peace in Afghanistan and fight against Taliban. The purpose of my visit is to send a powerful message in support of the ceasefire regime established by President Ghani in Afghanistan. The U.S. supports civilians and fighters against the Taliban. The USA is grateful to the Azerbaijani government for the support rendered to the U.S. in the fight against Taliban and the establishment of peace in Afghanistan. The joint fight of Azerbaijan and the U.S. for peace in Afghanistan is one of the main indicators of strong relations between the two countries. And that was all for today from Asvision TV. Our next update will be on Monday. Have a nice weekend.